Hello, my dears. How are you doing? I hope you're making it another good week. Today, Grandma has another story that I want to tell you from our reading in the Book of Mormon. And this is the story of the 2,000 young warriors. This is Helaman and his stripling warriors that we will be reading about this week. Here is a picture of Helaman with his 2,000 warriors. The people of Ammon, who called themselves the Anti-Nephi-Lehi's, had made a covenant with God never to kill, even in war. Remember, they had buried their weapons of war and made a covenant that they would never take up their weapons again. And so these were the people of Ammon. And they moved to the land of Zarahemla, where the Nephite armies protected them from the Lamanites. However, as the years passed, the people of Ammon saw the dangerous circumstances that were in the land and how the Nephites were suffering because they were fighting to protect them. And so they decided that they would break their covenant and take up their weapons to defend themselves and their Nephite brothers. But Helaman, who was the leader of the church at the time, persuaded them not to fight. He did not want them to risk losing their souls by breaking their covenants. Covenants are very sacred and important special things, and we do not want to break our covenants. So these anti-Nephi-Lehi's, the people of Ammon, had many sons who had been young at the time that they made their covenant. And so these sons, they gathered them together, and there were 2,000 of them, and they made a covenant, but it was a different, different covenant. They promised to fight for the liberty of the Nephites and the anti-Nephi-Lehi's. And they asked Helaman to be their leader. So their parents had made a covenant never to take up their weapons of war again. And these young men who are now grown up, probably teenagers, probably high school age students, they had made the co a covenant that they would take up arms and protect their families and the, their friends. Although they were young, these men were strong and brave. Most important, they were trustworthy and obeyed God's commandments. They were men of truth, the scriptures say. Helaman called them his sons, and they called him father, because there was such an age difference. When Helaman asked them if they were willing to go to battle, they answered, Father, behold, our God is with us and he will not suffer that we should fall, then let us go forth. So they had trust and faith in Heavenly Father that he would watch over them and help them. These brave young men did not fear death. They cared more for the freedom of their people than for their own lives. They told Helaman they had been taught by their mothers to trust in God and they knew their mother's words were true. So Helaman led these brave young men into battle and they joined a group of the Nephites who were trying to protect themselves and their people from the Lamanites. And the Lamanites had taken one of their very strong cities and the Nephites didn't want to go to battle against the city. So they tried to draw the Lamanites out of the city. And so they came up with a stratagem and that they had the young stripling warriors act like they were carrying provisions to another city and that they would march past this strong city that the Lamanites had overtaken and it would tempt the Lamanites to come out and to come after the, the, the young stripling warriors because they thought, oh, it's just 2,000 of them and we're so strong and so many of us that we can defeat these young men and get their provisions and it would be a good thing for us. And so these brave young stripling warriors 
marched up in front of the city. And sure enough, the Lamanites came out after them. And so these stripling warriors, they marched faster and faster so that the Lamanites couldn't overtake them. And then the rest of the Nephite army came behind. And so they were coming up behind the Lamanites. And because it was a strong Nephite army, they figured that they could overtake the Lamanites and defeat the Lamanites who had come out to chase the stripling warriors. And so for several days, the young stripling warriors marched quickly and the Lamanites chased after them and the other Nephites were behind them trying to catch up. And then one morning when the stripling warriors woke up, the Lamanites weren't there behind them, but they kept marching just in case it was a trick. But the Lamanites never came after them. And so they decided they talked to their leader, Helaman, and he said, what do you think? It's possible that the Nephite army has overtaken the Lamanites and that they are having a big battle. What should we do? What do you want to do? <clears throat> should we go back and help fight? And these brave young men said, yes, let's go back and we will help our brethren. So they went back and they arrived just in time because the Lamanites were about to defeat the Nephite army led by Antipas. And when the 2000 stripling warriors came up on the other side of them, the Lamanites had to stop and turn and fight the stripling warriors. And it was a tremendous battle. But between the young stripling warriors on one side and Antipas with the rest of his army on the other, they were able to defeat the Lamanites. And so they won the battle and they took many prisoners. Helaman counted his troops, fearing that many of his sons had been killed in the battle. To his great joy, Helaman found that not one had been destroyed, had been killed. They had fought as if with the strength of God and the Lord had protected them from being killed. Many of them were injured and hurt, but not one of them was killed. Many of the soldiers in Antipas's army had been killed, but none of these stripling warriors, and they had been protected by the Lord's will and their great faith. So things don't always work out so well, but this time they knew that the Lord would protect them, and he did. And miracles can happen in our lives if we will have faith and trust in the Lord. We have to recognize and acknowledge that it's the Lord's will that will be done. But sometimes it's the Lord's will to protect us and help us. And sometimes it's his will that we learn from our trials and mistakes. Well, I hope you know that Grandma loves you. Heavenly Father loves you. And I hope you will keep being strong and courageous and be brave and face your challenges and trials. I'll come and talk to you later. Bye.